Hey everyone, this is your old friend Brad in the marketing department at Utah's Hogle Zoo coming to you live and direct this Thursday, March 26th. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm going to wait for some of the comments and questions to come rolling in. In the meantime, I've got my partner in crime over my shoulder, Mr. Jeff Meggs, the, the butch to my Sundance. He's going to be handling all things Insta during our virtual field trip today. We're here in the beautiful giraffe barn on the east end of African Savannah and I see some comments rolling in but before we uh, introduce uh, our special guest today and what we're going to be doing let me just say how important it is during this time that we're closed that we receive support from uh, all of you any donations in any amount would really go a long way to helping the zoo survive survive this period of time I don't know if many of you know but it costs anywhere between 40 and 45 thousand dollars per day to operate the zoo. So all the more reason why we could use your support. Go to hogelzoo.org slash donate now and any contribution would mean the world to us. There are also other ways to support your zoo through the purchase of memberships, maybe looking to uh, upgrade your membership to another level. There's also some incredible animal art illustrations that just are available this week. They're one of a kind creations from our resident art director, Jay Weston. So take a look at those as well. I see some comments and questions rolling in. Thanks for joining us. Uh, be sure to share this content with your various audiences as well. If you like what we're doing, it means a lot to us. Okay, uh, you see we ha our big special guest you see back there is uh, Riley. We're going to talk to uh, our renowned, let me turn around and turn the camera around, uh, our renowned giraffe keeper. Ms. How are you? Good, how are you guys? Hello, Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> She's a natural, folks. <laughs> what are we doing today? Okay, so today we're going to um, trim Riley's uh, hooves. We're going to show you how we've trained him to do that. First, I'm going to show you some of the tools that we use to train a giraffe hoof. Um, if any of you own horses out there, you might know um, how to trim your horse's hooves or you have a farrier that comes out to take care of your horses. We use the same tools that a farrier does. And parents, that can be a spelling word for this week for you homeschoolers, farrier. Learn how to spell it and what it is, okay? Farrier, there's the word of the day. F-A-R-R-I-E-R, -R -E farrier. Perfect. Okay, so let's take a look at the tools, Brad. So this is one of the knives that we use um, just to help exfoliate the hoof, take off some of that old growth. This is called a rasp, so it's kind of like a giant nail file, but uh -huh. for horse, but today we're gonna use it on a draft. And then this is called a nipper, um, just another tool to help remove some of the overgrowth of the hoof. And then this is a brush. Um, this we use to clean off the bottom of the hoof um, before we get started, so we can get any of the substrate or sometimes they step in poo, so we wanna clean off the poo as well. Oh, sure. So, okay, so those are our tools. And now we're going to go in, and Isalda is going to be our um, farrier, our hoof trimmer today. Fantastic. I'm following you. Right. Okay, and so Brad, this is another um, tool that we use. So you're going to see Riley. Um, unlike farriers, they tend to either use a hoof stand or they just kind of um, hold the foot in their legs gotcha. to get certain positions. Riley weighs over 2,200 pounds, and you're going to see he's a big boy. He's over 17 feet tall. So um, we can't physically really kind of hold that um, weight because he will relax a little bit. So what he's going to do is he's going to put his foot up, and then we can get to the bottom of his hoof like that. So that's what you're going to see him do today. Okay. okay. Let's do it. There's a good look at Riley, everybody. He's our big male giraffe here at Hogel Zoo. And being spoiled with his favorite bread treats. Just so you know, we got the girls watching the procedures here, eating a little hay. Okay. A little bit more, yeah. I'm going to back up so we can capture a little bit of as much full body as we can. 
Now, what is the target? What, what is that? Is that that draws his attention then and keeps it on that? Is that correct? There's old Riley. How you doing, Riley? Okay, they're just getting set up here, folks, for a hoof trim. You really get a good idea how large the animals are when you see them up close like this. So the target is just um, for Riley to move to it so we can position him in a certain spot. And then if you want to go up, Brad, you can see Salda clean off the bottom of the hook, go right up there. And you can see what she's doing. Can you see how, how this is? Uh, there we go. See how she's cleaning the hoof with different materials. And tell us a little about, about his hoof shape. So, um, if you look at a giraffe, they have two claws. So they're more like a cow than they are a horse. So they have two claws. So they have two toes, one in each claw. Um, Other foot. Good boy. Good job. Teresa just got the feed giraffes here at the zoo. We do do public giraffe feedings when the weather gets warmer and, of course, once we reopen. So look for those. What a wonderful experience that is. She really gets in there pretty good, too. Going to slide around here, folks. Amazing to see how long his neck is as he cranes over all of us. Slide on over here. As tall as they are, I'm surprised their feet aren't wider. They can be supported on, on kind of like a, it looks like a smaller pad, right? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. I'm comparing it to elephants. elephants so can... I, but like elephants, like their width is so much bigger. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like these guys are tall and skinny. Holly, it looks like Riley actually enjoys this. It doesn't cause pain or anything no, like no, that. He, he does um, enjoy it. Before we started, once he saw us getting out the tools, he's adjusting. Um, he started to like get prepared for it. He's very into hoof trims. We use a lot of positive reinforcement um, when we're training for this. He can walk away at any time if he doesn't want to participate. You can pan out and just see. He's not confined to anything, so he can just walk away but he does enjoy um, getting his hoof trims. I'm sure it feels nice to him. It's kind of like, almost like a pedicure, I guess. I would think so. Now, how often do you do this with, with our giraffes? Um, with Riley, every couple weeks, um, a professional horse farrier will work on a horse like once every eight weeks, usually. Um, we don't have quite the strength to take off as much as a professional farrier would. So we're able to work him every couple weeks um, and we'll take off a little at a time. Um, and that's how we keep up on it. Um, right now we're trained, we've trained Riley to do three of his four feet. And so we're working on um, still training for another rear hoof there. I, I see. Um, yeah, he's doing great. Yeah, and then the little girls, uh, Georgetta and Minka, they're in the learning process right now. So we're just training them to present their foot on a board. It's smaller than this one because they are so much smaller than Riley is. Um, so right now we're just training them to just present a foot. And then we're also getting them used to some descents, which means allowing us to touch them. Because um, even though these guys are born in a zoo, they're not domesticated animals. Um, so they're not super into being touched, especially on their feet. It can be pretty sensitive. 
Um, so we have to do a lot of um, dress building before we can get to the point of touching feet. Um, but Riley's doing, doing really well. Just a day, at, a day at the spa for him. A day at the spa. Yes, Jackie, he is very handsome. He is. You mu Jackie, absolutely. We tell him he's handsome several times a day. It's, it's in the draft manual for Riley's <laughs> husbandry care. He's very handsome. Him. Okay, so what else do you guys want to know about giraffes in general? Yeah, we'll open up to some questions. Someone's asking how tall he is. I heard, is it 18 feet? Is that he's, he's over 17. Over 17. So... Between 17 and 18 feet. We weigh him about once a month, once every two months. I think his last weight, he was over 2,200 pounds. Wow. Um, so he's full grown. Um, the other girls are still growing. Um, so they're right around 10 feet tall. Georgetta, uh, Riley's daughter, is just under 1,000 pounds. She weighs 908, I think. And then Minka, our new girl who came last year, um, she's at, I think, 1,100 pounds now. And how old is Riley? Did you mention that already? Riley's Somebody asked. 17 years old, so he's, he's, an, he's getting to be an old man. His face is getting a little white. Look at the white little face. Oh, he's so cute. Um, drafts are ruminants. Um, does anyone know what that means on Facebook or Instagram? Anybody know what a ruminant a is, gang? While we're waiting, remember to share our lives. You can share our Facebook lives right from our, our live there. Get your friends involved. Make sure people know that we're doing it. That'd be wonderful. It really helps us out with those views and comments. Okay, so ruminant, if nobody answered, means um, they have more than one stomach. So it's like a cow. So um, they have four stomachs. Um, so they actually chew their cud. So he's going to eat this. He's going to swallow it. He's going to bring it back up, chew it again. So giraffes get um, a lot of the nutrients and water they need out of the food they eat. So they're very good. They have a very good digestive system. Hey, Jameson and Lincoln are asking, what is Riley's favorite treat? Um, elm brows. So giraffes oh. are herbivores. So that means they're plant eaters. Another good spelling word for this week is herbivore. Look it up, kids. Herbivore. Herbivore. Um, <laughs> so he's a plant eater. Um, so they eat leaves and some small twigs. Um, and there's some giraffes in Namibia that actually live in a desert environment. Um, and they can go days without drinking water because they get all the water from the leaves that they're eating. Um, and that's how they can get a lot of water. So it's pretty cool. Now Destiny is asking, what are you feeding him right now? I'm feeding him bread. So that's a high... High reward is this bread that's donated from Prairie Grain. Thank you. Thank Prairie, you Grain. Prairie Grain. <laughs> we love our sponsors. Yeah. This hoof trimming session is brought to you by <laughs> Prairie Grain bread. Oh, look, at, look at her using that file, too. With that yeah, so if you want to get in there, you can see her file. Is now, that, is that the just, shavings down there, too? Is that yep, so that's well? some of the hoof trimmings that she took off um, with the knife. And you, I know we did the elephants recently, Good and they boy. take the elephant trimmings and give it to the bobcat. Is something yeah. similar like that done with, with the, the giraffe trimmings? Or is Sometimes that... we give it to the big cats, yeah. Whoops, where's your foot, dude? And is it similar yeah. where they like, the, they like that smell of the trimmings too? Yes. Back up. Back. Some of our... Uh, viewers, Holly, have noticed Riley's tongue. How long is that tongue of his? Other foot? So the full length, where's your other foot? The full length of a giraffe tongue is 18 to 20 inches. 18 to 20 inches. Wow. And you can see, like, on the bottom, um, their tongue, the end of it, is a blackish, purplish color. And that's because in the wild, giraffes are constantly sticking their tongue out to get leaves off of trees. Um, so if they had a pink colored tongue like us, it could get sunburned. So they have a naturally dark colored tongue. It's very rough, like a cat, I would say. Um, so if you've ever been licked by a cat, 
that's the similar feeling to how rough his tongue is. I don't know if you're able to hear Holly's answer, but giraffe tongues are dark, and, and if they were pink, they would actually get sunburned in the, in the African heat. So, And it's kind of rough to the touch, right, Holly, the, yeah. their tongue? Uh -huh. it's, it's something everyone should experience in their lifetimes to get licked by a giraffe. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Put it on your bucket list. Now, Faith is asking how long his femur is. Faith, I don't know how long his femur is. I do know that the legs of a, of a male giraffe can sometimes be as long as a, a human, right? These are the tallest animals on earth, folks. I think many of you knew that. <laughs> you can kind of get a good sense of how long his legs really are. That, that can be, Faith, I need you to look that up and educate all of us. Now here's a question that Melody asked. Do you ever bathe the giraffes? Uh, no. The giraffes aren't like the elephants or rhinos. Um, they get baths. Giraffes, they would, they would dislike me a lot if I tried to give them a bath. Their skin is really oily, um, and so that kind of helps just to keep them clean. So if they're getting a shower, that means it's raining and they're outside in the summer. That was a great question, Melody. Thank you for that. Other books? Good boy. And so and he recognizes your whistle, is that, is that correct? Yeah, so that's the um, bridge between the ass So when he hears so, the whistle, he knows he did something. Yep, yeah, he did it correctly, and that reward is coming. Is it true? And I continue to feed because he's continuing to do the good behavior, which is he's relaxed, he has his foot curled, and Isalda is able to work on it. Uh, Holly, is it true that no giraffe pattern is the same? That is correct, yeah. So just like our fingertips, each giraffe pattern is unique. One way to tell Riley from the other giraffe, obviously his size, he's much bigger, but as they get, as the other girls start to grow, um, if you look at Riley's rear left hip, he has the perfect heart shape. Good. All right, good job, dude. Okay, Dee Dee, I'm gonna back him up, and then we're gonna close that door. So we're just gonna finish this for a second, and then we can keep talking. Fantastic. So just a reminder, we have plenty of ways you can help out the zoo while we're closed. Uh, we have our hogozoo.org slash donate now. You can go straight to our website to check out our donation page. We even have an Amazon Smile account set up where when you buy things from Amazon, you can choose us as the, the sponsor, the person that, you, that they donate a portion of their proceeds to as well as our Amazon wish list, you can buy things for our animals here at the zoo. So just a reminder there while she's doing that, uh, we really appreciate all your support, all our fans. It's, it's great to see everyone tuning in. We love the photos coming in of all your kids, watching our Facebook Lives, learning about the animals. It's been really great for all of us here. It really picks us up when we have those photos sent in too, so we appreciate those a lot. It sure does. Thanks, everybody, for your support of our virtual field trips. This is a rare glimpse inside the giraffe barn that not a lot of people get to see. You're also getting a good look at the work that our keepers do, not only with the giraffes, but with all of our wonderful animals at Hogle Zoo. Now, Spencer, we did answer that question a little bit earlier. Thank you for asking. Uh, Riley weighs 2,200 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Georgetta is 906 Pretty much. Close. Yep. And then Minka's around 1100, 1100 you said. Yeah. So here's Minka. This is Minka, gang. So curious. Minka. And then over there is Georgetta. So in the barns, we do keep the boys and the girls separate just because boys can get a little bit rambunctious, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> As happens in the wild. Right? Wonderful. All right, gang. Well, thanks so much, Holly. This was really, really cool. We, this was a lot of, I, I know I enjoyed it. Jeff, how about you? This was Wasn't this great? Sorry for yeah. the connection issues. If we had some inside the giraffe barn, isn't great, but uh, that's what you get when we're indoors. Yeah, and sorry about the video, folks. I know some of you commented on that. We're doing the best we can. I wish I had three arms. It's, <laughs> it's difficult to work a mic and the, and the camera at the same time. Uh, so, that, so that'll end it here today with today's Facebook Live. Sure appreciate everybody tuning in. Now I want to tease our Saturday Facebook Live. You're not going to want to miss that one. We're actually going to be feeding 
a deer carcass to our lions. So warn the kitties. We'll leave it up to you parents whether it's appropriate or not. It is a uh, frozen deer carcass. It'll be thawed. It won't include the head, but it should be a lot of fun. It's, it's very much a circle of life type of thing, so you're going to want to tune in for that. Again, go to hogelzoo.org slash donate now. Any donation would be very much appreciated. And uh, again, thanks for uh, joining us today. So for now, this is Brad in the marketing department. And Holly and, and Holly and Giraffes and all the rest of us here at Hogel Zoo. Thanks. Have a safe day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>